Hi there, I'm Paul Gunderson, one of the chief forecasters at the Met Office. Now, satellite imagery has really revolutionised the weather forecasting process over the last few decades. More particularly so over the last five years or so, we've seen some really great advancements in, uh, in, in satellite imagery. And we use that for a number of purposes, um, mainly to see what the weather's doing from space, to analyse weather systems, but also to verify what our computer models are saying. Our computer models simulate the atmosphere and predict the weather minutes ahead through to days and weeks ahead and our job here as a chief forecaster is to make sure those models are telling us the right thing and if they're not to do something about it. Now an example here to my right is an infrared image that's measuring uh, the cloud top temperature so where you see these bright white areas that's where the, cl the clouds extend through a good depth of the atmosphere and showing as being quite cold whereas this speckled area here for example the showers uh, further to the west now, this is a good example because it's a nice well-developed frontal system with quite a deep area of low pressure to the northwest of Scotland. Now uh, I can see what's happening in reality versus what's happening in the world of the computer model here, if I can compare the two. So this is the current 12 o'clock um, image versus the 6 o'clock model runs T plus 6 hour forecast, so it's what the model thinks is happening now. And the red is where the model thinks there is high clouds and obviously you can see what's happening in reality underneath it. And over the large area, it's a pretty good fit. So we're fairly happy with what the computer model is doing, just with the exception of just very close to this low pressure center, which suggests things are slightly displaced to the west relative to what the computer thinks is happening. Now, the importance of that is that if there's coming night, this area of low pressure will run to the north of Scotland and bring a swathe of very strong winds, um, gale or severe gale force winds, in fact. So that allows us to make some, some comments and some judgment as to how good the computer model is and make adjustments to our forecast, which should make things more accurate.